just got back from my neighborhood hardware store and I got myself a garden hose here and I went over to the neighborhood music store got myself a French horn mouthpiece because I can't find mine for some reason and I have a tuba mouthpiece I've had here for a while now this is 25 feet in length an actual French horn is 16 feet in length so I'm going to cut this down eventually but since I have a tuba mouthpiece I thought I'd try this first I'm trying to uh, I'm going to demonstrate to my students how the harmonic overtone series works and how a cupped mouthpiece works. This is a cupped mouthpiece. It's the shape of the mouthpiece that actually makes a sound. If I just blow in the mouthpiece by itself, you get a buzzy kind of sound. If I stick this onto a tube, <coughs> I should get a note. seems to be the, the, an octave of the fundamental. And there's your fifth. And there's your other octave. Ah, okay, so there's the dominant seventh chord, which means there's a fifth underneath that. And then... Yeah, there we go. Now what note is that? That's a G down there. So this is a uh, natural tuba in G. Alright, let's try this with the French horn mouth, please. Seems to be down the semitone. All right, so I've just cut this down to 12 feet, not 16 feet, and fastened it into a coil. Very different embouchure for the low notes. I'm going to have to figure that out. The high notes are hard enough. Mm-hmm. 